All right, guys, so just picked up a bunch of scaffold in the van. The second run today, so I'm a bit knackered just picking it up. So fair play to the scafflers that pick it up, load it, offload it, and then erect it. Because um, these are definitely doing some hard work. But what I wanted to show you this game was the Rafaina toolbook. I wanted to go over that. Um, as the last one was cut early, so on the hand tools first, guys. I know some of you wanted to see the power tools, but if you haven't picked this up yet, get it. Obviously, this one's for March um, 24, so this year. And I know I showed you a wee bit early, and hope we're finished that too annoyed at that. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be look. So there you go, tells you where. Everything is um, just like a book, it has a, an index, so showing the fitted hex trial um, on the go there. And looks very familiar, that but yeah, crack and trial, guys. Um, oh. Absolute brilliant trial, and um, rose gold one as well. Oh, that's a fun attacks too, Rose Gold. Uh, not sure I've even used them yet. Maybe new. Um, cork, wooden handle. I'd love to actually try Rafina's cork handle. Love to get a, love to get that on the go. Pull trial. Actually, a very, very good pull trial, guys. Very flexible. Um, I'm sorry, that, that one's the very flexible one. So if you're looking for a flexible one or a stiff one, how you're going to tell the difference is the distance between that shaft and the handle and the edge. So this one's the flexible one that I have. It's a bigger distance, as you can see. So this is very flexible, that one. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant pull gel. Um, I think I have a Spear and Jackson one similar to that. Good for the floors. If you're doing a big that was screen, guys. Pretty good. And good for polishing up floors, believe it or not. And um, polished up anything, it's actually very good. Again, wooden cork handles. Um, don't think I've ever had the cork handle, but that may be to do with Rafina is known as, as blue. Um, here we are with a super skin. Super skin. So, lovely spatula. Actually, don't, don't not sure I've used that one in particular. Uh, maybe some of their older stock ones. It shows you the the profile. Z grip. Actually, can be very comfortable when you're swapping, um, or walking. Um, again, pole attachment. Guys, we're finding really do have all the plastic tools you'll ever want. There's the, the this one's actually a bit more comfortable for rolling around the hand. I do have the X skin one. Um, it's very very nice. Um, again, don't always use them on every job, but sometimes you a certain ceiling you really do want to use a spatula. Um, them types of spatulas are very good for trailing in K rend, believe it or not. Um, love to get my hands on that set of knives. Um, scrapers. I do really use them for scraping. Not sure if they're expensive or not, but they do look expensive. Does really look good bit of kit. And again, all sorts of joint knives. If you're a guy that does a lot of drywall or you know tape and jointing, that's definitely dry lining. That's what you're gonna want. Is them back with a plazy flex. I think it's good that they they did something that. You know, it's not just a plastic trowel with a handle attached. That if the plastic goes and it's all destroyed, at least you have a midget trowel out of it. Um, and again, yeah, you can probably just buy yourself some replacements. Great to me, I, I like them for a wee quick flattening. A lot of people love them for polishing, they're actually also good for acrylic render finishing, guys. So, see if you do have one that's all nicked and, and all no good, as long as it's not bent the wrong way, it's bent the right way, you're. Good to finish your acrylic render with it as well. Uh, funny, funny that we're just talking about acrylic render. Here's all the click and clack plastic floats, trails, whatever you, you want to call them. Um, PVC trails, amazing, amazing for finishing your texture up, guys. 
for acrylic render. Acrylic render to me, it's pretty much like a sand cement finish. It's not very, it's not very textured. Almost looks like a, a wooden float that one. Well, I think it is. It's just plastic. Um, recently just got mine sorted there for, for doing devil floating. So I'm going to get mine broke in. I do have older ones, obviously. Again, diamond face float, the plastic floats. Very, very good. Didn't want to put holes in mine, so it's taken me longer to break it in. Obviously, it's a stronger plastic than the, the polyurethane ones, so it will take longer to break in. But I do have it in the van somewhere. Again, Rafina, unbelievable for the sponge float collection, guys. Look at that. Literally made a flower out of it. Every colour there, but the whole thing is, is all them colours are different. They're different grades of sponge. Like them ones are rubber. Uh, not sure they may be felt like a like a material kind of clothy one, and then fine sponges, and then medium, and then a, a coarse sponge. Um, brilliant for your, you know, you can rub up with them, sponge up your sand and cements, and then you can do your, you know, your sort of textures on ceilings and or if you're, you know, if you're one of them guys that loves the the skim with them, then there you go. Absolute mountain full of hand floats, guys. Sponge floats. Um, sure, don't miss anything out here. Made a man had one of them. Very, very nice. We called it the magic sponge. Um, it was pretty good. I think it was that, or might have been a similar one. There's a sponge on a an attachment. Um, not sure what that would be great for, but you know. Possibly cleaning tiles, and again, this is definitely for cleaning tiles now. Um, seen tailors using them and the wee bucket with the wee rollers, and after one wipe, the floor came up absolutely spotless. There's that. I have that sponge, guys. For some reason, that's much easier to clean. Don't know why. Why it's easier to clean? I would have thought that all the cement and render would have got stuck in there, but. Believe it or not, it actually washed out far quicker. Maybe because they're individual sponges you're cleaning or the movement, you'll be able to flick the, the aggregate out of them easier. I don't know. I just don't know the magic behind it, but it does actually clean out quicker. Um, again, guys, there's so much information in, in this book about the tools and things that they're, 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 they're handy for. So if you do pick up your catalog, You'll, you'll be able to read quite a lot. So here we go, midget trials guys. So nice flexible one, looks brilliant. Looks brilliant for detail work guys. Some, some things that I would find myself do, doing, I need midget trials. Nothing better than a challenge, but a challenge with the right tools guys. You know, working up small door frames or archives. You know, some people do just skim it to the top and don't do the strip of archive. Myself, I I love to do the whole wall. I feel like if you're you're gonna do it, do it right. So sometimes having the me tools is brilliant. It's a funny little grip to have there on the tapered blade. Good for polish and plaster and stuff. Marble plaster. It's all there, guys. Then you get your detail. If you're gonna do fibrous plastering, you'll one hundred percent need one of these. Possibly. A better one than this to be fair this, this looks very stiff if anybody from a fan is actually watching this take note make another one that's much thinner so it's more flexible um like flexible like that trial if you make that it will i promise you you'll sell them flat out because that's what fibrous plasters want they don't want a stiff one Stiff ones still work, but the flexible ones are actually just much better. Um, I do have a similar trial to that. Not exactly that. Um, I actually used it on the, the new build recently, where I was pointing in round, was pointing in round steel beams that are up in there. Again, you can see that video on the channel, no doubt. If it's live yet, that is. Um, I have used the bucket scoop. One's absolutely huge. 
Um, I've used that bucket scoop as well. It's actually, if you want to clean your bucket, to me, that would be brilliant for painters. Um, guys using acrylic render, you want to get every drop out of the bucket. Um, polished plaster, just you want to get every drop out of the bucket. I do have the big, it's called, I think it's called a Mac scoop. It's not after me because it's M A C K. So I'll have to make another one that's after me, um, unfortunately. But yeah. Cracking brush guys, them brushes they're very very fine. Um, there's three different types: pure, hybrid, evil. Um, not sure. I'm not gonna read all of it, but trust me, they're a good brush. Um, stipple brush for making your swirls. You put that up the ceiling. Pull it down as you're squirling it, and that will give you the swirly spikes. And again, you can do different textures with uh, the rubber brush. Very good tool, guys, if you're doing a job and you're patching in or something. Um, at least you know Rafina has got you covered. Very good scrubby brush. Um, scrub your back with that one. It's so long. But yeah, good for them big tubs. You can get your hands as wet with a longer, a longer um, brush handle. Uh, I don't have... I do have these buckets, but I don't have this trolley. Um, so I can't say much about that, but what I can say is a trolley, when you're mixing big buckets, guys, is an absolute must. Um, don't look bad if, you, if you're thinking of getting something like that. Um, I guarantee you, you'll not look back, especially if a guy scoops it out of the bucket. Personally, I would mix it in one place and then wheel it across to the board, get it up on the board until I can lift, you know, maybe about that much. That that bucket there is... That's a 100 litre bucket, guys, so... You know, you're probably going to get like... Three, four bags and that thing. Um, and I think that one's called an X-ray. One of them's called an X-ray bucket, because you can... I think you can... Yeah, or X2 or something. I think it means X-ray handle, that one. I think it means that you can see through it, so you know exactly what's in it as you're using it. I think that was the idea of it. Don't have the big tub, but obviously tubs are great for satin cement, guys. It's called a mixing bath. Probably very good for the lime render guys out there. Um, they slate hawks, but to me, not good enough because they snap. They just snap. Like if you set that down with satin cement on it, it always just snaps, and you have to start putting screws down through. Make sure if you ever do that, you count shrink screw, otherwise it will damage your trowel. Um, could be says mixing bucket. And I do have this spot board, absolutely brilliant too. Um, very light, lighter than chassels. The board goes around it so the, the feet don't trip you up if you're on stilts or walking past. Whereas when you use big builder's chassels, the uh, feet stick out about there. The board most times doesn't go out past it, otherwise it'll tip. And then you tend to trip over the feet all the time. Well, I do anyway, but maybe I'm a bit, bit clumsy. Guys, I don't know if you've seen that, but... I have myself cutting using this, showing this tool off. Um, again, K around here. Your scratcher floats. Very sharp. Great for opening up your K around. More tools for it. All different planes, guys. Absolute mountain. These are very good for reveals. These are all squatting down the bead. Very good. Um, remember somebody asking me about how to, this is a spatula, but I had a straight edge and they asked me like, you know, how does it rub up? Is it rub up still so good? And I was like, yeah, it does, it dries quicker. Um, again, they're probably good for bending your mesh um, for the likes of acrylic jobs and stuff. Um, again, not sure if you can take that on and off, but the serrated one. And then the other one has an edge for blade attachment. Not really sure about them trials. Like to give them a wee trial. Again, best type of scratchers, guys. In my opinion, anyway. Um, and here we go for a lot of tailors out there, guys. Absolute mountain of tools for tailors. I'll I'll flick through this quicker, quicker than I will the plaster, as I'm not a tailor by trade. Um, and here's for all them headers that are gonna coat the plaster with this with a with a roller. Yeah, if it works, work away. Do what you gotta do. Um, and also, 
just rollers guys just rollers for painting on your pva or just paint your walls after you plaster them all lovely um or priming walls um i do have a spec roller possibly not from rafina but absolute brilliant tool for late hacks of floors guys don't know what it is you hit it with that and then it, it sort of it makes them actually look shinier again and i wish i had them spec shoes they would have come in handy for the last job i did anyway and um, so for your liquid screeds just helps you rake out and get level and um, i think we're coming to the end the end of the the plastering tools now me cove chal for anybody that does does them floors and actually puts the stuff on makes a wee round um double bars not sure what they are for at all i think they're for just tampering your concrete maybe along is that a ball float it looks like a ball float mm, didn't know refine had ball floats but looks like a ball float for concrete not sure could be wrong Finesse Hotel, I don't know, if it is for concrete I missed out, Um, there's the, the lovely serrated edge there, you can see it's not it's not just so massive guys, it's you know, it does open up the render pretty well though, eye bar for your K-Rand, personally I flatten it all first, so everything's nice and straight, and trailed in, and then the next day I just scrape it off so I don't tend to need a straight edge because it's already straight and I'm pretty good at taking off exactly what I want. What's this man doing down here? He seems to be doing a floor with a feather edge. I've never done that before. I've always used a box edge. Never ever done one with a feather edge but I might actually try it now. Uh, maybe I'm missing a trick. I don't know. Because at the end of the day, that floor looks pretty good when he's done, so yeah, I'll have to keep my eye open for that. Um, box level, did get one, but unfortunately the the delivery guy decided to make sure it was destroyed for me. Um, but yeah, oh look at that, could have done that with building this guys, yeah, and I'll gauge. That would have been good for, for building the corners up. Um, it has all measurements on it too. Very good. See, I like the way Refine is branching out, thinking outside the box. We're doing all the wet trades, plastering, tiling, painting, bricklaying. Absolute cracking tools. Pole attachments, guys, if you're going to use them. May as well abuse them with the pole attachment and do it from the floor. Much easier. I can't say enough about these canvas and these suede tool protectors guys, absolute must. Um, that nick that's a cracking bit of kit guys. You'll never get a nick again when you're packing up your trials. Um, trials hitting off each other, get damaged. Um, no good when they're damaged and they're nicked. Look at this for an absolute piece of kit guys. Absolute weapon there. Looks, looks like Refine is going to have a clothes range. Do have some t-shirts and stuff for them. Um, some people... Some people want to get them destroyed. I try to keep them nice and clean myself. <laughs> uh, we're over there. So, there we go. We're at the end of that. So, let's get flicking through quickly the power tools. And look at the, the weather, guys. I'm in no rush to jump out and get soaked. To lift out this scaffold even though i'm just putting it out the back door and just don't want to get soaked i'm sick of getting soaked i've been getting soaked the last wee while so i'm trying to stay dry um but i am getting hungry so i want to get this done and go and get some something in the belly so yeah somebody said i should just jump right in with the power tools like he said it was like he said it was like uh when you were a kid and you were looking through the clothes magazines he would always flick in the brass the underwear part <laughs> but yeah this is his underwear collection guys this is what he he wants to see might need to get a land of one of these off you guys um or somebody or refine or am stock may have to set me out because i will no doubt have to cut some some core holes through and um, probably the gauge and 
definitely utility room, ensuite, bathroom, ensuite. As I'm gonna be putting the vent in, and they are brilliant. They are really good guys. Just just core the hole out. Good job. Doesn't damage any block work or anything. Oh look at that. Absolute monster. Anybody who does holes, you usually probably know more about this than me. There's actually a company around here and they're called Hole Masters. I used to think that they filled potholes in when I was a kid. And then obviously there was a lot of rude jokes about Hole Masters. But that's what Hole Masters do. They they make holes. They don't fill them. Um, as much as you would have thought they filled them. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Pretty good bit of kit that. Has a, a vacuum to take away the dust. And all the attachments, guys. So if you're, if that's what you're needing to do, refiners get the covered with lots and lots of drill bits and stuff. Um, I'm always thinking about doing uh, what's called terrazzo, a terrazzo floor, and I will for sure have to get uh, a polisher at some stage. And I'm just saying that because I know what's coming up. Look at the size of that. That's some corn machine there. Good bit of kit, guys. You don't even need to hold it. Just, you know, take the vibrations out of the hand all the gear. I like, Ebb and Stock really know, know their drills. They know their motors. They know reliability because I have a mega mixer that still goes to this day. The Germans definitely, definitely making these equipment brilliant. Here we are with the polish and stuff. Or still a diamond cutter, I'm not sure. Again, they're going to have lots of stuff, guys, for tailors here as well. Look, cut through tiles. Good batteries as well, Evan Stock. Um, see this cast, guys? It's a cordless alliance system. Um, it means that these batteries actually fit other, like Metabo, but there's other people in that system. So if you do get Evan Stock batteries, they're actually made by Metabo. And there's other tool companies. You may want to look into that. There's other companies that, you know, it'll fit their drills and stuff. Um, absolute loads of stuff, guys, about core colours. Again, I'd have to ask our bag or Fena to send something out to me. Look at that first for a trolley. So he can get that nice and straight. Must be serious money in it, guys, because that looks like a serious bit of equipment. They get still to going to core through concrete, like solid shuttered concrete there. And stuff's probably got rebar in it and everything. So if it cuts through that, it'll cut through anything. Here we are with drills. Just drills for drilling through steel and stuff. Um, um, so there's a mega mixer to me, guys. Um, I wonder what that thing's like. It looks like something you'd make a cake with. <laughs> but probably is very good, guys. Double blade. Um, again, maybe it's just double trouble if stuff gets... There's that beast there, guys. That's an absolute weapon. I have been thinking about... If I could get somebody to weld me a couple of fins to this. And getting on the mate's boat and seeing if that will power the boat. I think it will power the boat. <laughs> it does get hot though around the exhaust so caution you know his arm there could be a danger so it is very hot at the exhaust um, but mine's still going I started it not that long ago still going um, again don't use it all the time but some jobs when you're going to do a bit of rendering or something it is honey or you know if I was here stuck with an electric I could stick it on but we're getting we're getting to the big heavy duty stuff now, guys. Of mixing, um, the next to the big tub there. I think you would just throw your ingredients in there, turn that on, and walk away. Let it go. Let it mix its own stuff. Oh, we're getting to the end. I think the only thing we've missed out is like hoppers. Oh, here we go. Spraying. What do you think, guys? Should have found the sent me out that there so I can spray on my house render um, I don't know if it will actually spray any render but yeah if Rafina wants to send it I'll give it a go 100% 
even if I could mix this stuff up later and go ahead up. Really do need that when it comes to the house because I most likely be boarding it all on my own. Um, and maybe maybe a couple of them would be handy as well. I do have some, but they're they broke on me, so they're a bit of a nightmare. I have to put screws in it to hold it at the at the height. Um, where this one looks like is it a pump action? I'm not sure if you just pump it and it goes. Very old drill that man's using. I had a drill like that. And they slide up bodies. Um, but yeah. Having something like that when I'm coming to plasterboard this big brute will come in very, very, very handy. So for fans watching this, um, my birthday is coming up soon. And um, as well, same day the pump and a board lifter and all the tools I don't have. Um, but no, guys, hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'm gonna have to go out in the rain here. I think Mrs. Mac's gonna make me a Big Mac. Uh, she's gonna make some some scrambled eggs, so I'm gonna get the, these bars fired out here, and then I'm gonna go and get something to eat. So I'll see you on the next video, and um, whatever video you want. There's six hundred on at this stage, probably.